Hello and welcome to my meditation. My name is Deborah Baker and I am so grateful that you have joined us for this little while. I hope you can stay for the whole thing, but even if you only stay until the three nice really deep breaths, I think you'll get something out of it. And you deserve it. So let's get started, shall we? As usual, let's begin with our three nice really deep breaths. And the next time, breathe really, really deeply into your belly. Hold it for a second and then let it go. And now this time, take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Hold it. Really expand all of your lobes of your lungs. And then blow it out like releasing it, like a cleansing breath. And now let's relax our bodies. And I don't know about you, but I have really been thinking a lot about last week's meditation and, and the guides have been taking me down a, down a path to really kind of understand it more and more fully, which I'm very grateful for. <clears throat> and it is along the theme of we are all energy. So let's imagine that our infinite selves, which are one, which are always in the oneness, our infinite selves are finding more and more channels to be present in our human bodies. So let's start with our hands and just feel like your hands relax. Be sure that your hands get to go to a neutral position, not clenched, not flat out, but kind of gently, softly curved. In your arms and just take a moment to think about your arms and if you allowed more of the infinite spirit more of the infinite energy your God self into your arms if you have any sort of discomfort in your arms you know uh, imagine it would go away but your arms and hands get fully relaxed and as they do they pull your shoulders down a little so let's move up from there feel your neck relax and just imagine what a powerful moment when you allow the infinite to relax your head so the outside you know all the muscles and the, your face but also all the way into your brain to calm your brain When we get into the brain wave of meditation, it is extremely powerful. <clears throat> and I recorded one of them. I do very deep meditations in my home twice a month now. And I recorded one of them a few weeks ago, which I'm going to put on my channel. So look for a deep meditation on my YouTube channel, Healing Deborah. If you really want to get your whole mind, body, and soul into a deep, deep state of meditation, which is just absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> okay, so now you feel that um, your infinite self activating your torso. So your upper chest, you know, around your collarbones and your shoulder blades, and your shoulders, of course your middle chest, your heart space, all in your ribs. So let's just stop there for a second and feel that infinite energy so that if you have any heartache or any um, anything going on, <coughs> excuse me, or anything in your gut, just know that infinite spirit is going to move in and shift it. And now bring your attention to your midsection and your pelvis, so your lower back, your glutes, your hips, your pelvic floor, your lower torso, your tummy. And just know that infinite spirit can move into that. And infinite spirit, God, the oneness, is what heals. So when you allow it, when you visualize it and, and invite it into your body, 
to be more fully present than it has been up until now, you really invite perfect health and healing. And so notice it now in your legs, your upper legs, knees, and lower legs. Feel all of your muscles in your body go to a neutral position. And sometimes I really follow along with the meditations and then it's hard for me to talk because my, my vocal cords want to go to a neutral position too. And so your feet as well. And just take a couple of nice, soft breaths. So what has happened is your body is slowing down just a little. Your breathing is slowing down just a little and your brain has shifted to the brain wave of meditation. So, uh, let's just relish this for a moment. So something that was said in the meditation last week was <clears throat> when I channel people who have passed away, so souls that are now fully present in the oneness that were once on earth, when I channel them and, and allow them to give messages to their loved ones, they I can feel them now because I'm really tuning in to this concept. I can feel them taking on the personality that they had while they were here so that their loved ones will recognize them. Because as soon as they leave their bodies, they are no longer that personality that you knew. They obviously don't have the bodies, they don't have the personality. None of the issues, none of the problems, none of the, the pain, and all of that is gone. None of that hangs around. So when you when I channel them, they need to take that on so we will recognize them. So the question posed is, would you recognize yourself? And I've been asking Spirit, you know, what is the bridge? What, you know, what are the connections? And what it is, is the earthly vibration can be kind of a lower, more dense vibration. And so the, what we're called to do, the challenge, I don't like that word, but you know, the, the uh, what's before us is allowing ourselves, our infinite selves, to be grounded enough in our bodies to function, but also to allow enough of our infinite spirit in to live, to have the experiences we came here to have, to live the lives we came here to have. And I would wager <laughs> that all of us, those of us who are aware of this, would like to express more of our infinite selves would like to allow our infinite selves to express more fully in, through, and as us. And so, one of the cool things that happens it, as we express more and more of our infinite selves is we are able to coordinate a wider range of vibration, which people like to say we raise our vibration. And it's true, we do raise that end of the vibration so we are able to function at the, the denseness of having a human experience, but also at the, the high level of vibration. And I know this sounds kind of scientific or, you know, technical, but we are able to allow more of our infinite selves in, which in doing so that raises our vibration. So what are the benefits of that? Things that used to bother us are at a lower vibration. That's why I think it was Einstein, but it was one of the great scientific minds said, you can never solve a problem at the level where it was created. Meaning, 
you need to go to a higher level of thinking, a higher level of being for the solution. And my guides are extrapolating for us that inviting our bodies and our personalities to vibrate at the level of our souls is going to bring us more joy. It is going to bring us more peace. And some of those things that used to stumble and, and trip us up won't even be on our radar anymore. They'll, they'll be, they won't vibrate at a level that we even recognize. And so, it's, it's a real oxymoron because how do you raise your vibration? By letting go. <laughs> In effect, by not trying to raise your vibration. But at the same time, being conscious of it. You know, it's not by effort. Yeah, I remember as a little girl, somebody saying, pray real hard, you know, and squinching at my face and thinking, I have to think about this real hard. And of course, we know now that, that that's not how it works. And it's the same with this. It's about setting the intention to allow ourselves to express more of our infinite being so that we recognize our infinite selves as us. A lot has been written about this by different sources about, you know, great spiritual leaders having these vibrations and someone, you know, published something about what their vibrations were and I don't know that that has any relevance to me and maybe not to you either. But what does have relevance is I would like my human self to resonate at the same frequency as my infinite self. Why? Because I feel that I would be of maximum service because I feel that I would be able to love more, more deeply, more fully, more freely. I would be free from taking things personally that are not meant to hurt me. So really what we're talking about is being more fully ourselves. So let's have a little moment of quiet. First, well, we're going to have two moments. One is to check in. Do I really want to resonate more of my infinite self? And, and there's no right or wrong answer. You know, it's, it's your life to live as you'd like. And, what, and if you do, what if it's this easy? What if it is, I give myself permission to express more and more and more of my infinite self in every moment? I give myself permission. I choose. The guides are saying that all of us know people who are resonating at much higher vibrations. And we recognize them and we're drawn to them, if that's what we want for ourselves. There's a saying in 12-step circles, if, we, if you want what we have and are willing to go to any length to get it. 
And so when you see, when you sense someone who has such great peace in their soul, they probably are allowing more and more of their infinite self ex to express as their human self. Fully human and fully divine. And it is a process that has taken me years and I'm willing to, you know, I'm open to the idea that it's not going to take people years like it has me. But I invite you to join me in this and to, to hear these affirmations as your own. I choose to express more and more of my infinite self in every day, in every way. I am an infinite soul having a human experience and I can combine those two so that my human personality is an expression of my infinite self not different, not something that I'm going to have to leave behind when I leave this earth because it is so different from what my soul looks like, but that it's going to be an easy process of leaving the love behind and taking the love with me. Not that I'm planning on making that step anytime soon, but what I would like to be is an expression of my infinite self so that I can be a blessing to every person on this earth in whatever way I'm called. You know, so some people are called to do it in grand gestures and other people are called to do it one person at a time and neither of those is superior despite what, you know, the media might tell you doesn't matter how many followers you have. What matters is that you feel content in your heart. And you allow more and more of the infant, infinite to express in, through, and as you. So another moment of quiet to just invite it. I invite the infinite presence to move in, through, and as me in every moment. I invite, I welcome the infinite presence, my infinite presence, to show up as me in a way that is authentic and real. So you don't have to become someone else. What you're being called to be is more fully you. Isn't that beautiful? The you that you really are is already whole and perfect, right? And so you're being called to be more of that if you'd like. <sighs> Take that in. I congratulate you for tuning in and giving yourself this time for hanging in to the end and for being willing, or at least open to the possibility of, a, of being the fullest expression of your soul that you can be on this planet right now. You are a beautiful soul and you are whole and perfect exactly as you are. You always have been and you always will be no matter what decisions you make. It's, it's true, no matter what decisions you make, you will always be whole and perfect exactly as you are. And the one presence moving in through and as me <coughs> honors and recognizes, truly recognizes the one presence moving in through and as you. This is the last week. Take a good look at my cast. Next time it will be gone. Yay. Namaste. Have a good week. <laughs>